Philadelphia Eagles finished second in the division last year. They shocked everybody when they made the playoffs with Jalen Hurts leading the way at quarterback. And this offseason, they made some notable additions. A.J. Brown, Zach Paschal, at linebacker, Kaiser White. They then signed Hassan Reddick from Carolina. James Bradbury signing him over from New York. Jaquiski Tart, a really big-time signing. Now, the secondary issues on paper, at least, should be fixed with Darius Slay, Bradbury, Tart, Anthony Harris. They still have Avante Maddox. The defensive line is going to be very good. It was top 10 last year. Where do you think the Eagles finish this year? Now, on paper, this is one of the better rosters in the NFL. And I will say this. If there was an elite-level quarterback quarterbacking the Eagles, Super this Bowl? team is a Super Bowl, Super Bowl team. I don't disagree. There's no doubt about it. If we have Joe Burrow on here, Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson those top guys, Lamar Jackson, this is a Kyler legit Murray. Super Bowl contender. I don't know about Kyler, but this is a legit Super Bowl contender, I think. Jalen Hurts is really on him to take that next step. Do I think he's going to do that? I'm on the fence about it. I, I like Jalen Hurts, but I don't know how much of a ceiling he has. I, th I think he's like a Tyrod Taylor. And I'm on the similar opinion where I am on the fence also. I believe in his intangibles. He's great in the locker room. He definitely has that presence to him that he wants to be great. 100%, there's no doubt about it. You, can't, you cannot question his heart. You can question his arm, unfortunately. And we saw it. It was very evident in the playoffs game against Tampa Bay where – Tampa Bay is one of the best rush defense in the league. Fortunately for Jalen Hurts, he is a rushing quarterback, and that was the majority of their offense, and they got exposed. They could not throw the ball, and Tampa Bay beat them up very easily, very handily. It's on Jalen Hurts to develop as a passer. He does not need to be Lamar Jackson in that type of increase with his play, 35 touchdowns. No one's asking that of Jalen Hurts. You need to be better than the, the teen touchdowns that you had last season. You had six total. Listen, he's an amazing rushing running back, 100%. Top three, top four rushing quarterbacks in the league. You just need to see it with his arm to believe it. You and win with quarterbacks that can drop back and pass. 100%, especially with weapons like A.J. Brown. Devonta Smith, who even with Jalen Hurts not being the greatest passing quarterback, still had over 900 yards, speaks to how great Devonta Smith is and will continue to be in year two. I and, and Dallas Goddard, you can't forget him. Another really so, a solid option. Uh, Miles Sanders needs to to be better this season. I'm I'm out on the the idea of Miles Sanders being uh, getting a pass because of injury. You Show me some. You saw what he said. I was on someone like podcast that you shouldn't draft him in fantasy. He said that. Yeah, that terrified me. I was like, well, like if you're not going to be, good, that's <laughs> because Nick Sirianni has a running back by committee, and there's not just but one think, lone running back you that would pops think Miles, out. Miles like. They still have. I don't think they still have Jordan. So Howard. Miles not a. They bum. have Kenneth Gainwell. I know, but Scott. Gainwell's not a. I want and Scott too. None of them are goal line. Backs. I want to get that across. That Miles Sanders is not a bum. He was great his rookie year. His second year, he had. Uh, he, led he was the league like in, in twenty plus 50, yards. Or, that's what it yeah. is. Twenty plus. Thank you very much. Miles Sanders is not bad, especially. I think, it is yeah, 50. I think it is fifty. The fact that he is in an offense with Jalen Hurts, it should benefit his yeah, run game. I agree. And now you have A.J. Brown. It only makes you more dynamic. This offense should be great. You alluded to it. This is a Super Bowl roster minus the quarterback. If Jalen Hurts strongly develops in the passing game, then we can have serious conversations about the Eagles. But until we see it, I can't be all in. I will respect this roster, and in doing so, I still have them with over 10 wins. I actually have them with 10 wins flat. But it's all dependent on Jalen Hurts, truthfully. If they can take that next leap, it's dependent on Jalen Hurts' arm. So second in the division, you the Cowboys to the left, right? Really, the biggest hurdle with them is, was last year a fluke? Last year, they snuck up on everybody. They got nine wins. They snuck into the playoffs. Nobody saw it coming. But this year, with the addition of A.J. Brown, James Bradbury, and other players, they are now expected to win a division. And last year... Their wins came against the Falcons, the Panthers, the Lions, the Broncos, the Saints, the Jets, Washington, the Giants. Teams that don't have high-level quarterback play outside of Atlanta. Because of that, how much can you really trust Philadelphia? How much can you really trust Nick Sirianni? The Eagles really started to get going once Sirianni started gearing, to gearing towards the run game, and that's when Jalen Hurts was unlocked with the running game. So I think if he does that early in the season, they, it could lead to some early wins. 
Um, so will they will they commit to the run game early? Will Jalen Hurts develop as a passer? And will the improved secondary on paper translate? Is James Bradbury going to have a season that he had in 2020? Yep. Or in 2021 where he was just average? Jaquiski Tart, how good is he going to be? Darius Slay, he covered a lot of great guys. He was amazing he, last he, year. He, was, he was amazing last year, but in 2020, he wasn't. So it's really what version of these guys are you getting? And for me, it's hard because A.J. Brown also he's been injured also in the past. But when he's healthy, we know. Yo, hey, he plays he's 13, 14 games. But looking at the schedule, Lions is a win. Minnesota, I think, is a loss. I'm going to just go through the losses. I think they lose to Minnesota. They lose to Dallas. They split with them. They lose to Indy. They lose to Green. They lose to Green Bay, and they lose to Tennessee. And outside of that, I really don't see another loss. Maybe New Orleans, but I see them f- starting off very strong. Detroit, I think, is a win. Minnesota's a loss. Washington, Jacksonville, Arizona, all wins. So I have them starting off four and one. And versus Dallas at home, I think they win. So five and one going into the bye week in week seven. Pittsburgh, another win. Houston, another win. Like their schedule is not that hard. It's it's a fairly easy schedule, and they're facing Arizona when Hopkins is going to be out. It's it's week five. five, I believe. So just one week before. Still believe in the boys. So because of that, the Eagles, I have them going eleven and six. I think this roster is Super Bowl bound if they had the right quarterback. If Hertz makes that type of leap, they can make it that far. I'm not a believer in Hertz, so I think there'll be like a wild card divisional round exit, but. This roster has that type of upside that they are one quarterback. They are a quarterback away. So you're out. You said you were 50-50 if you take the next step. Now you're saying they don't have the right guy. No, the Eagles as a roster, yeah, they. but I think Hurts is still limited. Okay. Like, they're 11-6. and six. They will win the division, but I don't see them being a deep – I don't see them being a team making a deep playoff run. Okay. Um, You guys know how I feel about the Eagles. I have two agenda-based teams this year. It's the Ravens. It's the Eagles. Lamar and Jalen Hurts are two of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. Right up there with Zach Wilson, who some think are better than Kyler Murray at this table. Um, I'm expecting the Eagles to build. I said, would you? I would rather have. I'm expecting the Eagles. just going to brush by that. I'm expecting the Eagles to improve on their 2021 season, where, yes, you're right, they did shock some people by making the playoffs. Um, You know, I I did think they were going to be a borderline playoff team. Um, they obviously got smoked by the Bucks, but that was probably the worst matchup they could have possibly had. And you're right. Last year, the opponents they beat were not all world. Right? I think the Saints and Broncos were probably the only two games you could look at and say, these are really good rosters. They didn't make the playoffs, obviously. Um, but at least defensively, like both these teams had good defenses. Uh, but yeah, you're right. The quarterback matchups, uh, according to Jalen Hurts versus the opposing quarterback, weren't great. But again, I look at their schedule this year, and I kind of see the same thing. You just went through it. They don't have a tough schedule, right? The be- They're playing Aaron Rodgers. You're going to be playing Kirk. Kyler Murray, uh, Aaron Rodgers for a week. But overall, like Adios. you're playing Matt Ryan, yeah, you're playing Jared Goff, and you're playing Carson Wentz and Trevor Lawrence. and Jameis isn't bad. Yeah, but like I think we agree him and Hurts are on the same level. I agree. Right? Um, so I, I think— Wait, who s- and who? Jameis and Hurts. Okay, yeah. Um, I think offensively, obviously love the A.J. Brown acquisition. I, him and Devontae Smith pair perfectly together. Oh, so Where good. you have A.J. Brown as his uh, big body— guy that can make big plays happen and if you leave Devonte smith one-on-one he's going to be cooking that corner without a doubt he won one-on-one matchups with ease last year and he was the focal point of the passing attack him and dallas goddard um and you still have a couple guys like quez Watkins who could you know take the top of the defense as well and offensive line wise they have arguably the best in the game they have arguably the best tackle duo in the game as well lane johnson a right tackle um been there forever as well as jordan mulatto who didn't play a snap of tackle his first couple of years in the league, and they just convert him into the, one of the best tackles in the NFL. Still have uh, Jason Kelsey there and Landon Dickinson, who they drafted um, last season uh, in the draft. Um, and then, you know, for Jalen Hurts, you guys know how I feel. You guys are teetering between is he the guy or not. I think he is. I think this is the year he has to show it, though. Very similar to it. If Jalen Hurts goes out there and he isn't good, they lose in the first round, they get smoked in the first round, it wouldn't surprise me if the Eagles move off them because you're right. This roster is ready to compete now, win a Super Bowl now. So Jalen Hurts has no excuses. They have the offensive line, the weapons. You would like a better running back, but everything else is basically perfect. I talked about his numbers before. He's improved in basically every statistical category from his four games, his rookie season, to his sophomore season. I'm expecting him to take another leap there. I think overall, you know, he has to show some improvements with the arm, but do what he did last year. Take care of the ball. He only had nine interceptions, 26 total touchdowns. Won't surprise me if he gets around 30 total touchdowns if you're including the the rushing attack as well. So I'm excited for this Eagles team. 
Uh, they also brought in a Kobe Dean, who I, I don't think you mentioned as well. Someone who dealt with injuries, but talent-wise, was probably a first-round talent in the draft this past year. Um, I'm excited for them. I have them going 11-6. and six. I think they win the division. Um, and I'm expecting them to win at least one playoff game. With their roster, they should win two. Yeah. I mean, back to your point. You got something right here, bro. Do I have it? You got it. Thank there, you. There you go. To go back, to, to piggyback off your point, the Eagles have a top of the offensive line. They have a top 10 receiver in A.J. Brown. You can argue top 10 weapons room in football. Yep. They have a top 10 tight end. They have a top 10 secondary in football. They have a top 10 defensive line in football. The linebacker core, I'm not going to go as far to say that. The positions holding them back are linebackers and the quarterback, but everything else is in place. So if they don't meet expectations this year, then Jalen Hurts is definitely gone next year, and I think this is the year he has to really has to prove, prove himself. Yep. If Matt Ryan was on his team, Super Bowl bound for sure. If I was the Eagles, I would have been going hardcore for Russell Wilson. I think they yeah, did. I mean, if you could, if you could upgrade it, you upgrade. Did I don't think they did. They definitely wanted him. They were one of the teams that wanted to trade but for him. But you know what? Russell wanted Denver. He did. Yeah, love him, man. Bold move. What do you mean? I would rather be in the NFC in the NFC East. Ah, okay. But I they probably don't get AJ Brown if they get Russ. That's very true. Yeah, that is true. They could have got Matt Ryan though. Yeah, a lot of people could have. They would have been better off with Ryan. It would have been guys. lit. But I try. I respect Fox. them. It cost them less. It's not that much of a hassle. You Did you guys hear what uh you made what, the playoffs with? There was a graphic that spread on social media about Jalen Hurts. And it was it was this. Oh. <laughs> it was one person said, Let me give you a scenario of what we went through in one day of practice. It was a ten play scenario. Jalen Hurts had three picks, four incompletions, and three sacks. And AJ Brown it was seven on sevens. And AJ Brown responded like, How can you get sacked on seven on seven? <laughs> so it was a fake report, but yeah. People uh, got and this report and ran away with it. And there was actually a report from Eagles beat reporters that he had a phenomenal mini camp that he was looking explosive, big place to AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. So yeah. you know, I, I think there's gonna be nothing but good reports coming out of training camp. Yeah, that that yeah. was that was nonsense.